This could be you right here. This could be the root cause of why you're taking the club to the inside. Head goes forward, weight goes forward. Okay, club goes inside. Ninety percent of all bad golf shots, they start in the takeaway, and the vast majority of you are making the same mistake. The good news is I'm going to help you understand what that is, but more importantly, we're going to fix it. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And the truth of it is, is a lot of us out there, even golf instructors at times, we're spending hours worrying about all these different positions in the golf swing when at the end of the day, the most important thing is the takeaway. Because if you don't get the takeaway right, you're not gonna hit good golf shots. So let me show you what's happening. The vast majority of you, especially if you're struggling with contact or you're slicing it, are doing this in the takeaway. When you're setting, I got my seven iron right here, okay? When you take the club away, the club head drags to the inside, okay? Now when the club head drags to the inside, a couple things happen and it's caused by a specific thing, which we're gonna talk about here in a second. But when the club head drags inside, okay, the face tends to get a little bit open. So if you're slicing it, and you drag the club head inside, okay, the face also tends to rotate and get a little bit open. The other thing that happens, and if you haven't, we've, we've done some great videos on chipping and understanding the relationship between the handle and the club head and how that impacts where the club hits the ground. So if you're struggling with contact, also when the club head drags inside, you're gonna be prone to maybe hitting a little bit behind it. All right, so let me go ahead and hit a shot and we're gonna talk about what causes it and how to fix it. So I got my seven iron. Let's say we got a pretty good setup. The fault is they drag you, you're dragging the club inside, face gets a little bit open. Okay, and you could, see, you could hear that. I hit a little bit behind it, right? And it was, I don't know if you could see the ball flight, but it was definitely weak and to the right. Now, what typically causes that? Okay, this is where you wanna look at. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know I'm a big fan of the 60-40, right? 60% weight on the lead foot, 40% on the trail because we wanna unweight. That helps your tempo, that helps your rhythm, all types of things. But what a lot of you are doing, which is causing you to drag the club to the inside, is when you start your swing, you're actually going forward. You're what we call reverse pivoting. So you're set in here, and anytime your weight goes forward, as the club goes back, it's gonna to wanna to drag inside. So it looks like this. This time I want you to watch my body movement, okay? Watch my head. This could be you right here. This could be the root cause of why you're taking the club to the inside. Head goes forward, weight goes forward. Okay, club goes inside. Now I fixed it not too bad on the downswing. I definitely hit it on the toe and I hit a little bit behind it. So that's what's going on and that's probably what's causing it. So you came here, you're like, how am I going to fix that? Well, let me show you how you're gonna fix it. So when you're set in there, you know what you're gonna do. You're gonna start with a little bit of weight on that lead foot, okay? And when you take the club away, I want the, the handle and the club head to move the same direction. See that? The handle and the club head move the same direction. Now when I do that, see what happens down the line there? Okay, boom. And this is part of our vertical line swing system. This is exactly why I developed the system because a lot of golfers make the same mistake. Like I claimed earlier, 90% of these bad golf shots start in the takeaway. And most everybody's doing the same thing. So when you're set in there, okay, you're starting a little weight on the lead foot, move the handle, move the club head away from the golf ball. Let me go ahead and hit a shot. Boom. Now, that was definitely more solid. I did pull it a little bit, in all honesty, but it was definitely more solid and more consistent. Okay, now, let me give you a tip that you can do when you take that to the golf course. And I gotta say this, hey, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel here. All right, we're just a couple guys from the Midwest. We love doing golf videos. We love hearing from you. All these things we're talking about, a lot of these ideas we get from you. Leave those in the comments. And also, hey, ring the bell and subscribe to our channel because uh, we're here to help you play better golf, all right? So what is the tip that you could do? Now we understand what's happening. We understand what's causing it and the types of shots we see. How can you fix it? All right, now I specifically right today did not wear a glove. And the reason I wore a glove is because I want you to notice the knuckles on my hand here, all right? So when you've got a grip, and we're not talking about the grip here today, but we've got some great videos on the grip. But as you look down at your lead hand here, that's for me, my left hand, I can see about two and a half knuckles, okay? 
So when you're set in there, I can see those two and a half knuckles. Now when I take that away, I want to almost picture that I'm going to see two knuckles. All right, so I can see two and a half, and when I take it away, I see two knuckles. Now notice what happens, see this down the line, what happens when I do that? Boom. See where the club head goes? The face is square and the club head's out in front. If you're seeing more knuckles, which is probably you, all right? You see two and a half, and when you take it away, boom, I see four. That tip right there is gold, all right? When you head to the golf course, you get set in there, you might rehearse that, boom. Okay, two and a half, two. Take it up, boom, most solid shot of the day. The vast majority of bad golf shots start in the takeaway. The vast majority of you are making the same mistake. Do this little tip here and you'll start hitting more solid golf shots.